numbers give the clear indication that spring is sprung. What does that mean to you? Let's chat. It's Manny Bega with the Bega team from Roll the Page. Magna. Hey, it's Shivani Bega, and let's chat about March 2024 and what the stats are. Everything is green, everything is all up, and which is good for the Edmonton, which is good for the Alberta. And I'm so happy and I'm so excited, but on the other side, every buyer is in a panic mode. Oh my God. And every seller is in a panic mode, I think, at this moment too. Let's clarify by stating this um, the stat and then clarify to our, our audience as to what's happening inside Scoop. So let's chat it down for the average property and we'll take it from there. Alrighty, let's jump in. The average selling price for all residential properties in Edmonton is sitting at $421,000. That's a month over month increase of 3.4% and a year over year increase of 8%. Holy! That is an insane number. So, Shwani, I want to clarify to you and their average mean when we put the luxury home, single detached home, apartments, row houses, you name it, it does put everything together. Right. But if you see the chart, right, March till last June, it went up. From June till November, market went all the way down. June till January, it came back up. But from after January 15th, I do not know what happened to Edmonton real estate market. It went on steroids. It just boom, straight up, you know? And that's what's happening onto it because that's why it's every aspect. You look at a condos, you look yeah. at a single detached home, you look at luxury home, everything is up. So that's what is happening in the average price. Oh, totally. And that's what we're going to see. Like if we jump into our detached single families, the average selling price is sitting at $517,000. Month over month increase of 1.9% and year over year increase of 6.7%. And that's for detached single family properties. Just shy of 7% of what you bought it last year for, for what it's sitting at right now, that's where you're sitting. I think I, I agreed with on, on that point because I can see the half duplex, I can see a single detached home and on the same time in a luxury market too. Yeah. People are bought it at home in November, December and then the same persons are buying right now. They say, oh my God, two months my friend bought it, this home now is selling this because market change. Oh, it, totally. It, because people need to realize it. And would you say it's heading up every demographic of like price range, whether that's from our luxury properties to our middle properties? 100%, 100%. Yeah. Detached means it doesn't matter you fall in, in a luxury, it doesn't matter you fall into a double garage attached for 1,500 square feet or 400, 800 or a million. It's gonna affect to every detached home. 100%. And not only are we seeing that increase in our detached properties, we're definitely seeing it in our row homes and townhouses because the average selling price for those properties is $283,000 with a month over month increase of 2.5%. And check this out, a year over year increase of 13.9%. Holy smokes. Well, Shivani, you have to understand there's just why the row houses are very in high demand. The people who are watching, why? Because it's a price bracket point. Those are the buyers who are ready to buy in between $250,000 to $450,000. We see on the selling side, yeah. any property we go in between $250,000 to $450,000 in the last, I can say, 60 days, it goes to the multiple offer. I, I, I look at it, we sold numerous properties, every property we listed. For example, we listed one property for $398,000. Eight offers yeah. sold for three over three or four hundred twenty thousand dollars. What is that indicated to you? The price bracket point. Yeah. So those homes kind of be in high demand because that's affordability factor onto it. Oh, one hundred percent. Now, if we take a look at our semi-detached properties, the average price is sitting at four hundred and nine thousand dollars month over month increase of six point one percent and year over year increase of eleven point five percent. Exactly what Manny just said. That affordability range is really what's driving these prices up because people are now slowly starting to get accustomed to that higher interest rate. And by higher, I mean fairly normal. So that's where we're gonna see the big push. And then let's jump into our condos again. That one's sitting at an average of $194,000, month over month increase of 7%, and year over year sitting at 0.6%. So not much going on in the condo realm. We have been through this story every single month. 
where our condos are slowly, slowly creeping up, but we're not gonna see that drastic jump like we're seeing in our row homes, our townhomes, our single family detached or our semi-detached properties. But I, I think, Shivani, I, I wanted to give the people who owns as an investment or yeah. the people that are coming into the investment market. Condo market is a very stable market, but yeah. it is coming up. I, for example, we just uh, listed a property for, for $100,000. It, it went for like a six offers, it sold for $116,000. What does that mean to you? It's indicated in a certain pocket, people are very much interested to buy those apartments and they yeah. are eager to put it on because the thing is this one, if they are buying for let's say $116,000, they're renting the property for $1,300, $1,400. $1, it, it depends and as you remember, it's a 1% rule. Totally. You, you remember that 1% rule? Yeah. Right? So for all of our buyers that don't know, or our investors rather that don't know what the 1% rule is, it's whatever your purchase price is, if you're able to rent that for 1% of what you purchase per month, that is a good investment. Prime example, you buy a condo for $100,000. If every month you're able to rent that for $1,000, that means it's a good investment. Just like Manny said, invest. we had a condo listed for $100,000, six offers on it you're definitely getting more than a thousand dollars rent on that so when it comes to certain condos yes they are definitely flying off the shelves but it's very price driven uh, excellent so i think that's all we have on average price but now we're going to switch gear on on a more of our, our sales side yeah there, so. let's jump into it excellent so first of all if you look at it Giovanni, inventory we have only 5320 total homes are available in Edmonton real estate market, which nice. is very down. So now that, as you can see, the inventory goes down, the price goes up because the demand is up. It's a supply and demand formula. Because if you compare last year, or you can go two years back, the inventory was sitting at close to like 8,000, 9,000, even I see up till 11,000. Mm -hmm. So if buyers are the same same area, so look at that next slide. Last month in, in month with 3,597 new listings came in the market, which is 32.4% month over month higher. So February versus March, we got more listings. It's normal because we are coming in a spring market, right, Joanne? Totally. Um, a year to date, we have over 8,477 listing came in the, in the market from January till now. That's our year to date, which is 8.9%. Normal. January till March, it's going to come straight up, and that's normal. Now, let's flip the side on the selling side, sales. Last month, Giovanni, 2,467 properties sold. So, so let, 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 let's compare them. 3,567 property came and 2,467 property got sold. So give and take, I can say close to 70 to 75% yeah. properties are getting sold. Yeah. Versus a couple of years back, it was sitting at only like 45% property was selling versus 75 properties are selling. So what is that happening here right now? Inventory come, boom, buyers can pick it up. W what is your feedback? Oh, it's absolutely insane the market right now. Every single property is going in multiple offers just because there's no properties that are available. You have one property that gets listed and there's eight to 10 buyers putting offers in within the first 24 to 48 hours. So that decrease in, in uh, inventory is definitely driving up that demand and driving up those prices. So buyers, number one tip is if you like something, you commit fast because it will fly off those shelves. And number two, sellers, if you're looking, if you bought your property at a really high price, right now may be a time that you may wanna get a market evaluation. See what your current market value is. I think I agree, that's I agreed with your with your statement, but uh, it's also indicated on the same side. But what we think that uh, what do we list, what we sell. Yeah. Year to date, we have fifty eight hundred and sixty six property got sold, which is also thirty five point seven percent up. So if the listings are close to eight point nine and sales are up thirty five point seven percent, I like I never see a that busy month of February and March. It's it's coming coming on the point we are following the trend. Of what's happening in Calgary market? Yeah. Okay. So hopefully that will answer to your question, but let's move on because now the correlative, what is time? Because if if home comes and getting sold right away, it what is gonna affect, it's gonna affect the days in the market, it's gonna go down. Totally. Look look at this slide. Last year, detached home shimani was at sitting at 46 days, now it's sitting at 40 days. 
That's nuts. Uh, semi detach, the last year was sitting 39, it's sitting 35 days. Okay. Uh, your row houses, as you say, hey, 13.9. Last year was sitting 51, and now it's sitting 34 days. Wow. Can you believe it? H how much time frame it's taking less? So it's also indicated it's, 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 these are the proven factors. We are not making up ourselves. Okay. The same thing with apartment and condos. Last year was sitting 59, now it's sitting at 47 days in the market. If we put all the residentials together in that mentioned real estate market, last year was sitting at 48 days, now it's sitting at 39 days. Okay. So long story short, um, times for selling a property is getting reduced yeah. by certain time, days and days and days. Is that what you see on, on the buying side too? Or what is your feedback on buying Oh, side? absolutely. The properties are coming up and they are selling quick. That's not to say that some of them are definitely selling unconditionally, but there are a lot of properties that are going really fast, but they are conditional, right? So when it comes to how many days the properties are on the market for, it is quite less and reduced compared to if we were talking a couple months ago, uh, let's say even December, November, those months, you were seeing those prolonged periods. You were seeing, I mean, your work with a lot of sellers, you were seeing a ton of cycles of relist where, pro where, eight, where sellers were having their properties on the market. They weren't selling, they were taking some time, you put it back on the market. And now you put them on the market and they are gone. Yeah, I agree with, with your statement because I think it's a good time for those. Um, my, my tip for, for the seller point of view, if you think that you are um, in position and you really wanted to sell, I think you definitely need to conduct a serious uh, meeting with the, with your realtor mm -hmm. and find out what is the current value you are sitting at it and make the decision on base of that, okay? That will be a factor onto it. I'm not saying that, hey, it's a good time to sell or it's a good time to buy. That's not because every person's circumstances could be changed, but definitely it's a good time to conduct a meeting and have a market evaluation done and see where your positionings are for 2024 and where the market is and letting for next coming three months or so but my personal predictions that april may june will be nuts yeah will be <laughs> nuts. okay um if you are on the buying side uh put your gears into top gear yeah number one get your mortgage done number two you need to know your product which exactly you are buying don't be vague don't and then number three be stick with a good realtor who's going to present you any realtors could be a good because the thing is not all my fellow realtors are good i never say to them but the thing is sometimes i look at a client they are getting panicked they are going to find out four or five different people they're running around but then if you are not loyal to one person how the other person will be loyal to you absolutely and the second part is as realtors we are working with multiple other clients and if we know that we have your loyalty we are going to go beyond our own means to be able to get you a property prime example last week one of uh, my clients was saying shawnee i'm looking for this type of a property i went out did a couple of door knocks around the neighborhood of a property that we did submit an offer to and we were able to get them a listing right away right it's because I know that my client is going to be loyal to me and I'm be able to, as their realtor, go out of my way to be able to make sure that their family has the home that they want. I think that's my number one tip for all the viewers for yeah. this week, especially for the buyers. Be loyal to your own realtor. Yeah. Sign a contract with them, let them work. They are professional. They will find you the right property. Might you don't get the first home, second home, third home, fourth home. Might you need to write even four or five offers before you get one, but hey, dedicated towards that you will 100 you will find your dream home i think that's all i cover up uh, anything you wanted to share before we can wrap up i agree with manny get your ducks in a row make sure you're prepared as a buyer um, and as a seller make sure that if you are wanting to put your property on the market make sure it's in top gear you have a lot of competition you have a lot of eyes on your property so make sure that your home is clean it's tidy it is presentable and if you are looking for a market evaluation reach out to your realtors feel free to reach out to us we're happy to provide it to you it is a complimentary service that our team does provide um, you're most welcome to reach out to us anytime at 780-431-5615 or visit our website www.mannybaga.com as you know, that Baga team is dedicated to deliver results and we are here to help you. We are not here to take any single thing, single thing granted, but anytime you need any help, hey, promise for myself to you, just call, 
there's no obligations. I know that sometimes you have a very vague questions. We are here to deliver those questions to you. But before you go, if you think that this channel is very important for you or your loved one, which is you think, please share. Subscribe and hit the bell button. Myself and Shivani come back every month with the tons of knowledge which can help you so you can make your best decision for your family and for yourself. God bless you. Keep smiling. See you next month.